The Efteling Hotel is Efteling's first and eponymous hotel. Along with the cabins in Lundschland and Busreich, it is an on-site accommodation at the theme park. Being the first thing most Efteling visitors see of the park when they travel down the N261, it certainly makes a big impression with its castle-like design. But what impression does it give to those who actually stay there? And is it worth an overnight stay? This video will help you find out. The Efteling Hotel, like the theme park itself, can be reached by any road vehicle. The hotel has its own entry road just off the N261 and with that its own large car park. The hotel's entrance is in a weird place, around the back away from the car park and entry road which means it's a bit of an unnecessary walk but they have stylized a nice garden around this area so it's not all bad. The building itself is a beautiful thing to look at, varied to the Efteling theme with its fairy tale castle, complete with turrets and its own personal moat. The top heavy design also adds a lovely element of curious wonder, a feeling the theme park loves to create. Upon entering the building you find a nice open reception area, very clean and full of nice Efteling touches such as the clocks by the lift where Villa Volters is upside down, the height charts for the rides and a TV showing off Efteling shows. This area needs to be as big as it is, as the reception desk, lifts, stairs, toilets, bar, luggage hold, restaurant shop and other restaurant are all located here and yet there's still enough room here to have a cubby hole that has a chair and for some strange reason a microwave in it too on the reception desk there's a nice bowl of fruit but i was too shy to ask for a piece i assume you can have some fruit here you check in and collect your room card before accessing said room by either the staircase to the side or the lifts in the center of the room the Efteling Hotel receptionists were lovely people, ridiculously friendly too. They apologised being a little slow solving a problem with tickets that really didn't hinder us and gave us VIP passes to rides on the park. A genuinely nice gesture that we really didn't expect. But now is no time for on-park activities, it's a hotel review. After walking through the incredibly dark blue corridors, let's view the room. It's very blue. There's also a lot of tables. Tables everywhere and a huge heavy pair of boots. It's a very elegant room, filled with loads of cute designs like this cat lamp. The place isn't the cleanest though, we found a mouse. Joking aside, the bed was very comfortable. It also has a chase lounge in the corner of the room, so you can pretend to live a life of luxury and lay around like a Roman emperor. If only there were any grapes, maybe the reception has some. Being in a corner room, we had this really long curtain around the two rooms. It made me feel excited that we had a nice window wrapped around the room, but no, it was just covering a wall and a door to the next room. One of the tables is a games board. There were rules on how to play, but this is a decent place to store some luggage, so that is what we did. Now time to swiftly move on from that and check out the bathroom. This room is also a very elegant affair with its gold-plated handles. There is even more Efteling charm in this room as well, with a mirror message on the wall which I will now butcher trying to pronounce. Kijk niet te vaak over je shoulder, face trot, kijk fruit and wood gain dag older which in English would read, do not look too often over your shoulder, be proud, look forward and become not a day older. See, Dutch and English aren't that different phonetically. There is also a compass on the bathroom floor. Having just gone through a maze of internal hotel corridors, it's nice to be reminded which way is north. Overall, we were very happy with the hotel room, elegant from head to foot with a lot of cute little fairy tale elements that keep within the Efteling aesthetic. It was a very enjoyable place to stay. Food wise, Efteling has three restaurants on its ground floor. The badly pronounced Die Galagkammer Bar and the Hoffelike Harut restaurant are two of them, but we ate breakfast at the seemingly unnamed hole in the wall restaurant by the reception. We were led to our table by perhaps the best dressed waiter you'll ever meet. Just look at him, phenomenal! The restaurant carried on the elegant theme the rest of the hotel had, but this time with a white and brown colour scheme instead of the deep dark blue in the hotel room. There are many serving areas throughout this room, which helps ease the crowding. It had plenty of places to make your morning teas and coffees, which if you are someone that cannot wait around for your first cup, then that news should come as a relief. The venue was nice and spacious, but if you want even more space to enjoy, you can have breakfast in bed for 10 euros per room, if you hang your designated door hanger outside your door before midnight. In the evening there are the aforementioned elegant Die Hoflake Hurut and the Die Gelagkammer bar at the front. The bar at the front of the hotel is great, a table service venue where you can order meals from the kitchen as well as pints. It's a small but cosy atmosphere with a whole picture wall full of famous Dutch celebrities that we could not identify a single one of, but would be fascinating for more local guests to look at. It doesn't look like half of them were actually here though. Guests staying at the Efteling Hotel can visit this park through this scenic personal entrance located within the hotel car park, although one glance at this thing will make you not want to visit the park. In the hotel itself, guests can entertain themselves by visiting the arcade, which is so well hidden that finding it was all part of the fun. In the foyer, you can pose in the old telephone booths or sit down and spend time with the hotel's microwave. There's also a gift shop by the reception which sells loads of Pardo's dolls, as well as board games to enjoy with whoever you are staying with. 
One major positive about staying on site at the Yuckling Hotel is that the Wi-Fi is so good that it means you can have smooth video calls in the front garden of the hotel, meaning that you aren't missing anything by being here. To conclude, the Efteling Hotel is a charming theme park hotel, draped in the fairy tale aesthetic that Efteling is known for. This castle-like hotel is full of elegance and allure. Every part of the hotel either has a nod to the park itself, or the 70 plus years of culture that Efteling has successfully incorporated itself within. The room was decent, the overall hotel well kept and clean, and the staff above and beyond helpful and lovely. Considering that the Efteling Hotel was opened in 1992, this place was fresh with ideas and nowhere near as dated as one would suspect. Efteling are in the process of building a new hotel, but I would highly recommend an overnight stay at the Efteling Hotel when visiting the park. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions or things you would like to say about the Efteling Hotel, and leave a like if you find the video useful as it makes it easier for others to find our review too. We have a fair few theme park hotel reviews on our channel, if you are looking at more on-site park places to stay, subscribe for more and we'll be publishing more of them along with theme park reviews and other theme park related videos. We have also reviewed Efteling's Lunchlands cabins as an alternative hotel accommodation, and have a whole episode where we explore Efteling for the first time. If you are interested in either of these, I have put links for both in the description below. Thank you for watching.